Why do some bronies believe that Fluttershy is a pushover? Or think that she keeps relearning the same lessons over and over? Or that her character conflicts will always center around her shy nature? I believe that Fluttershy is a wonderful character that a lot of people can relate to. And indeed, a great many people have. Her virtue of kindness is an inspiring example that spreads love and tolerance throughout the brony community and beyond. But for some bronies, Fluttershy seems to be a pony that is stuck in the same conflicts, always having to push herself to get through a normal day, often allowing her fears to get the better of her, often believing herself to be less worthwhile than other ponies, wanting to avoid conflicts so much that she'll even allow others to take advantage of her. And so I would like to start up a discussion on why so many bronies think the world of Fluttershy, and why others think her character just doesn't go anywhere. As for me, I have a lot of respect for Fluttershy because of what she goes through to overcome her weaknesses. I enjoy her character for all of her strengths, but I respect her character because of her struggles. Even when I first started watching MLP, I could see how much she struggles to overcome her weaknesses. But then again, that's why I started to enjoy the others of the main six as well. The writers for MLP make each of the characters feel real. Twilight with her paranoia and OCD tendencies. Applejack with her stubbornness and pride. Pinkie Pie with her tendency to push her views on others even when it isn't really wanted. Both Rarity and Rainbow Dash love being the center of attention, which can also make them a little insensitive. But Fluttershy's weaknesses and what she goes through to overcome them speaks a great deal about her character. Her fears seem to be a constant burden to her. And this is something that she's had to deal with since childhood. She does have moments where she can put aside her fears, but her insecurities continue to be a part of her life. And so this is one reason why some people seem to write off Fluttershy as a character. And I can see why those same people would have trouble understanding why she can't seem to overcome those struggles. It's easier to enjoy a character when you can relate to them. And it becomes all the more enjoyable when you see that character overcome a problem that you can understand. But not everyone has to deal with insecurities the way Fluttershy does. Not everyone can relate to her struggles. A lot of bronies enjoy Fluttershy's quirks and demeanor. But I don't think that as many bronies enjoy watching her grow as a character, simply because they're not quite sure she has become a better pony. I, for one, believe that Fluttershy is growing as a character. I believe that she's a better pony now than she was at the start of the show. I can see and relate to the ways in which she overcomes her fears a little bit at a time. And I can understand how it feels to push yourself so hard just to take a tiny step in the right direction. But I still feel puzzled when I hear someone talk about how Fluttershy's character doesn't seem to go anywhere. So let me make an example of a different character weakness that we see in Twilight Sparkle. I've mentioned before that she can become paranoid. And that seems to happen when she encounters a situation that she is unable to control. This is something we see in her from early on in the series. And this paranoia can grow into a mental breakdown if she feels like she can't depend on others for help. But even when she is learning a lesson about not allowing her OCD nature to get the best of her, we still see more examples of her getting paranoid when she feels that she is not in control. This is a lesson that she is still learning today. She is taking steps here and there, now and again, about keeping her cool when she doesn't have all the answers. So why don't I hear anyone talk about Twilight not growing as a character when she's still trying to overcome this weakness? Well, it could be that this weakness of Twilight's doesn't manifest itself as often as Fluttershy's insecurities. For Fluttershy, her weakness is something that she has to deal with nearly every episode she's in. And I guess for some people, that leads them to think that she'll always have to deal with the same conflicts. And yeah, I get the feeling that she may have some of these insecurities for the rest of her life. But doesn't the fact that Fluttershy has to deal with her weakness so often make it a bigger issue than, say, Twilight's paranoia? I think it is more inspiring seeing a character overcome an issue that they have to deal with so often rather than an issue that seems to come along every once in a while. I tend to cheer more for a character who makes the greater struggle to succeed, especially when that same character has failed to do so in the past. When I see Fluttershy accomplishing something that she's been afraid of before, I see real character growth. 
And when some of her fears keep coming back to try and take over her life again, it makes me smile to see when she doesn't give up on herself. She may falter along the way. She may lose herself in a panic. But she will always shine through in the moments that matter the most. And what makes Fluttershy even more interesting to me is the fact that she fully realizes all of her weaknesses and accepts them. When Discord was playing mind games with the main six, he used his subtle words to play each of their weaknesses against them. Applejack became convinced that telling the truth would cause more harm than a lie. Pinkie Pie was made to believe that the laughter she had brought to her friends was only intended to hurt her in return. Rarity became so obsessive over a diamond that she had forgotten why she became interested in gems to begin with. And Rainbow Dash was given an impossible choice of abandoning her friends or losing her childhood home. But when Discord came to Fluttershy, he was stopped cold and had to resort to a more direct method. Even with the subtle lies that had worked so well on the others, Fluttershy smiles calmly and talks about how much she believes in her friends and appreciates them for all that they do. And this one act speaks volumes about how an inherent weakness became a wonderful strength in her character. Because Fluttershy has come to accept the fact that she is weak, it makes her humble. And because she is humble about her weakness, she is able to find ways to turn that weakness into a strength. Although some people still see her as just a pushover, I believe that Fluttershy is the better pony by choosing to be this way. As we can see in Putting Your Hoof Down, Fluttershy often wishes that she would be better respected by other ponies around her. And it's easy for us to see why. It's easy to understand that feeling of helplessness. And when she does find a way of commanding that respect, she starts using it at every opportunity available. She doesn't feel like a pushover anymore, and for the briefest of moments, she actually feels happy about it. Even when her friends call her out on it, she doesn't want to go back to being timid. But then she starts to realize that by overcoming this weakness, she has lost so much of what made her strong. Even though Fluttershy may not have realized it before, her calm and kind demeanor spreads so much good to those around her. She makes a choice to bring back her old self, even knowing why she wanted to change in the first place. Because Fluttershy chooses to be this way, she is accepting her weakness, and accepting her weakness makes her humble. And her humility helps her to realize how much good she can bring to others. I believe that Fluttershy came to represent the element of kindness in part because of her weakness. I do not believe that Fluttershy would be nearly as kind if she did not have this timid nature. But her greatest accomplishment by far comes during Keep Calm and Flutter On. Fluttershy is tasked with reforming the spirit of chaos. And though Fluttershy feels less than confident, Celestia in all her wisdom believes only Fluttershy has the capability to do this. So, with the rest of the main six being less than optimistic, Discord is released once again. And, of course, Chaos has no intention of being reformed. Almost immediately, Fluttershy is being pulled in two directions by the two things that matter most to her. Her friends and her ideology. Her friends start doubting that Fluttershy can get Discord to change at all. And Discord takes advantage of every opportunity to encourage that doubt. But Fluttershy remains calm and confident. And she keeps showing more of her kindness, even when it is obvious that Discord is less than deserving of it. Her friends keep trying to convince her that this is a fool's errand, and Discord keeps testing their patience all the while. Even we start to question Fluttershy's motives. But then we see a new side to Fluttershy. She didn't begin this task believing in Discord, but rather believing in kindness itself. She stands firm in being kind even when so many others would have given up. Even with her friends begging her to reconsider. Even with Discord laughing at her efforts. Fluttershy refuses to let go of her kindness. Until Discord comes to realize that he actually likes having Fluttershy around. Having some pony be nice to him despite his faults is something so foreign to Discord. And better still, he realizes that if he ever wants respect from others, particularly from the one pony who has ever been nice to him, he'll need to change. 
Fluttershy accomplished something so grand that even her friends didn't see it coming. And when I look back on the pony she used to be, it's inspiring to see just how far she's come. It is my hope that perhaps you will take a moment and think about your struggles and your weaknesses. And though many weaknesses can be overcome with effort, I believe everyone has weaknesses that can become great strengths. Fluttershy has shown us that this is possible to do. I hope to hear your thoughts on both Fluttershy and how the weak can become strong. I hope that many fans of Fluttershy gain an even greater appreciation for her character. And I hope that a few skeptics may think twice about doubting her. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.